everybody. So today I want to talk about something that um, is a little bit different for this channel, but I said that this channel is about health and longevity and health includes a lot of different things. So um, I want to talk about body image and later on in this video, I'm going to show you something that I did to myself that's not good and that is permanent. And I want you all to avoid that for your lives if you can. So with body image issues, it can affect anybody, it can affect women and men. Um, a lot of the advertising for surgeries and do this to change yourself and do that to change yourself, a lot of that is geared toward women, but um, some of it is geared toward men too. But um, anyway, I, I see that a lot more women are affected by this, but here it goes. It is so dangerous to undergo some of these procedures that are being advertised to us. And I want you to really think about the consequences. It can be really tempting to go ahead and get a procedure done. Um, but I think that what I'm trying to do in my life is I'm trying to get to a point of self-love, which is really, really hard. It's really hard. Um, I'm always picking myself apart, always, like every little thing. There are so many things for me to pick apart because I'm not perfect, um, which is absolutely a ridiculous idea of perfection. Perfect according to whom? And this is all, the idea of perfection is created by industry anyway, and it's constantly changing so that none of us can ever actually achieve it. So one thing that I did years ago is I underwent a procedure. I didn't really appreciate the gravity of the procedure that I was undergoing. Um, it was advertised kind of like a, a laser procedure, um, but it really was it really was more like liposuction. It was just like a mini liposuction, like a really small little, you know, whatever they use. And I didn't really fully understand that, even though I researched it really well, because I don't undergo anything lightly. I just don't. So I did this and I really regret it. I understand this is just my story, but I'm sharing for a reason. This is hard for me to share. So um, afterwards, the healing process took many, many, many weeks. I think it was at least six, if I remember right. And um, I regret it. I have permanent issues that I don't think are ever going to go away. And technically I could undergo another procedure to fix it, but it could just come out worse. So why, why would I do that? Um, so one thing that I have always hated about myself is, um, I kind of have a double chin in, in photos when I smile, like I have this thing that happens. <laughs> I can't believe I'm actually showing this publicly. It's so crazy. And, um, I can't seem to get rid of it. And for the longest time I thought, well, what if I just do a little something here and there? And then I saw some of the photos from messed up neck and chin things and uh, that changed my mind. But I think that now I'm finally coming to a place, I'm 38 years old, I'm finally coming to a place where I'm trying to really love myself more. And it's difficult, you guys, it is. But if you have issues with loving yourself the way you are. We're all on a journey, right? We're all on a journey. I'm not at the end of my journey at all, but if during your journey you can love yourself, that's going to be such an improvement for your overall health and well being. And if you're struggling with that, I would highly encourage you to go see somebody if you can, to talk to a professional about it if you can. And if you can't afford that, you know, maybe maybe join a meetup group or, you know, talk to a friend that you really trust or a family member that you really trust. Um, so, okay, I'm going to show you what I did. I can't believe I'm doing this in public, but it's hopefully to help you if you're struggling with this. All right, so here it goes. All right, so this is my stomach and I'm going to show you a side view and you'll be able to see what I did, even though it's pretty flat. Do you see this little outdent? kind of goes, kind of goes out, 
and it kind of goes back in. It's all around my belly button. It's like this circle around my belly button that is constantly raised. And it's because of that procedure that I got. And um, it's probably never going to go away. <laughs> and that's just something that I have to live with. And, you know, part, again, a little part of me just wants to get it fixed. But the majority of me says, you know what, no. This is a reminder, a constant reminder to not do that. And I have to live with it. And we have to live with the consequences of our actions. So anyway, that's my story. And I, I just wanted to share that with you. And I'm going to try to love myself, photo, smile, double chin and all. Um, and I, I would hope that you all can do the same thing for yourselves. Anyway, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And subscribe if you haven't already and um, leave a comment below ask any questions and um, I really appreciate it everybody thanks for helping this channel grow and I will see you next time ciao